Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. So what do I have going on for today? Today I am bringing to you a Dollar Tree Farmhouse DIY. I will be making some farmhouse candlestick holders using Dollar Tree items. So let's get to it and let me show you what all you need from the Dollar Tree for this farmhouse candlestick DIY. For this DIY, I picked up these two bottles from the Dollar Tree, these candlesticks. I'll also be using Krylon spray paint in the color of Satin Almond, this crackle paint by Folk Art, Waverly's chalk paint in the color of Agave, and some twine. Starting this DIY off, I'm going to take my Krylon spray paint in the color of Satin Almond and I'm gonna give these two glass bottles a good solid base coat with this spray paint. And for this next part of the DIY, I will be using this Crackle Medium by Folk Art. This is my new favorite thing that I am obsessed with right now. And I'm gonna take and put a nice coating of this Crackle Medium over these bottles that I just spray painted. I'm gonna be sure and to cover the whole bottle, not missing any spots, giving it a real nice thick coverage. And I'm gonna do this to both bottles. I'm gonna set these aside, let them dry for about an hour to an hour and a half before I move on to the next step. Once my bottles are dry, I will be using Waverly's chalk paint in the color of Agave. This color is beautiful. And so many of you have been asking me to bring you more farmhouse DIYs with color, so that is what we're doing today. I'm gonna place a nice coat over these bottles. You're gonna have to move pretty quick though when applying this chalk paint over the crackle medium because your chalk paint will dry quicker than normal because of the crackle medium. You do wanna make sure and not to go over your paint too many times because it will ruin the outcome of the crackle effect. And so I'm going to just apply one light coat. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm not looking for full coverage because it's going to add to that aged, weathered, farmhouse, distressed look that I'm looking for for this DIY. And you'll see fairly quickly after applying this chalk paint that that crackle medium really does work fast and you will see that weathered crackle look starting to take effect really quickly. Once I've got my chalk paint applied, I'm gonna set these aside for maybe a half an hour. If it's a good hot day, you can set them outside and they'll be dry within 10 minutes. And of course, this would not be a Kelly Barlow Creations farmhouse DIY without some twine. So I'm gonna take and hot glue some twine around the neck of this bottle in a couple of different areas, just kind of winding it around the neck until I've got the thickness and the coverage that I'm happy with. And I'm gonna do this to both bottles, the square and this round bottle. I was feeling like these bottles were a little bit plain and missing something, so I decided the perfect addition to these would be one of my easy to do twine flowers, where I just simply wrap the twine around my fingers to the thickness that I'm happy with, take another piece of twine, tie it off there in the middle, and there you have one bundle, I'm gonna do two bundles like this. Then I'm gonna separate all of my loops. Then just simply hot glue one on top of the other. These twine flowers are so stinking cute, I can hardly stand it. And I feel like the perfect spot for this would be right in the middle of each bottle. These twine bows give such a chic feeling to any DIY and really dress it up. I love these. Now taking the candlesticks, I'm just simply going to twist it and put it right into the top of this glass bottle, giving us a farmhouse shabby chic candlestick holder. These are so stinking gorgeous. And don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, 
snap a quick picture of it, send it to me on either Facebook or Instagram because I love seeing all of your creations and I can feature them in an upcoming video. And there you have it. I love the way these turned out. These turned out so stinking cute and it's different from any other candlestick holder that you typically see. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2,000 likes. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody. Bye.